Welcome prospective grade nine Bishop Ryan students. Once again, I'm Mr. Lawler. I'm going to be your principal next year at Bishop Ryan. I'm very excited to be meeting you. And this of course is a very exciting year for you as grade eights. Your graduation is upon you and you're now going to be moving into your new school, Bishop Ryan. While that all occurs, there's a number of steps that are necessary for you to take this year while you're in your grade eight year in preparation for high school. And one of those steps is happening today. And this is our grade nine course selection process or our option sheet presentation. You might remember that Bishop Ryan has a bit of a de facto model where faith, pride and effort promote excellence. And in everything that we ask you to do this year in preparation for coming to Bishop Ryan, I'm gonna ask you to think about your faith, your pride and your effort and how putting in the best effort into each one of those promotes your own excellence. So you will be joining the Bishop Ryan family soon and your first major task comes today. It's important to pay good attention to today's presentation and I want you to think a little bit about what courses you would like to take beyond your compulsory courses or the courses you have to take already. These will be the decisions that you make that will start to weave the fabric of your grade nine year. The other piece that I would like to mention to you and remind you of today is our August Passport to Grade 9 program. In August, we invite you to come to the school over a two-day period to get to know a little bit about what a high school is like, what high school classrooms are like, what courses require, and things such as that. Don't forget as well our orientation, which happens at Bishop Ryan, and it's a one-day, usually morning program that occurs towards the very end of summer. At that day, you'll receive a pep rally, tours of the school, learn how to open your lockers, meet a number of the staff members, and your student council as well. Please continue to learn a little bit more about us by either going to our website, www.br.hwcdsb.ca, or you can find us and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Our handle is at brcsschool. I encourage you to follow us as soon as possible to get a little bit of a sense of what high school life is like. Good luck today with your course selections. Good morning, future Celtics. Exciting year for all of you. My name is Mr. DeFelice, and I'm one of the guidance counselors here at Bishop Bryan Catholic Secondary School. Today, I'm gonna to review with you guys all how to create your MyPath account and also select the eight courses you all must take in grade nine. Please follow along with me in your planning guide on page eight. Okay, so our first step here on page eight instructs you all to go to www.pathtosuccess.ca. Once you are here at pathtosuccess.ca, you'll realize you're at this homepage. On the top right-hand corner, you will see it's instructs you, it says login. At this point here, you click on login. Now it brings you to a screen that says email and password. At this point, you don't have an email and password, so you can't log in. However, step three, you notice it says select register. This is very important. This is where you're gonna start to create your account. So I need you to click on the register button. Once you've hit the register button, you will get a screen with numerous fields to complete. The first field says group. You will scroll down and here, you will all select students, okay? We're all gonna create our own student accounts. So number three, you're gonna collect, select students. Then you move on to the next instruction and your next one says student ID or OEN number. Here, you could use your OEN number. Uh, if you do not know your OEN number, you could simply ask your homeroom teacher and they will provide you. The key here is to remember your dashes. This number here consists of nine digits. So for example, 555-444-333. You must include the dashes for your OEN number when you're creating this step right here. Very important, once again, please include dashes. Next, it instructs you to add an email address. This could be any email that you use. For example, uh, a .NET, a Gmail, Yahoo, okay? So here you're gonna type out your 
email, okay? Let's just say smithj uh, at gmail.com, okay? Then it's gonna ask you the next field, email confirmation. Again, smithj at gmail.com. Here, you cannot copy and paste it. You must, again, you must retype the, fill, the full email uh, address that you're using, okay? You cannot copy and paste, okay? So once you've completed the two fields with your email, now you're gonna put in the password. This is the password you use basically to retrieve your email. So type in your password, okay? And then again, it's gonna ask you to password confirmation. Again, type it out, do not copy and paste, okay? So on this page here, you gotta remember, dashes for your OEN number, email and password, do not copy and paste, they have to be entered twice. At this point, you should have selected student, your OEN, put in your email twice, your password twice, and hit submit. Okay, so now we hit submit. At this point, your job is not done. This is the most important step right here. You will now receive an email containing a link to activate your account. So whatever email address you've used, I've asked you now to go into your email address and there you will see an email from Path to Success. At this point, click on that link in your email and now you will have activated your account. If you see no email in your yeah, inbox, please check your junk folder, okay? So submitting does not activate your account. Submitting sends it to your email address. Opening the link activates your account, okay? Now this step here, creating my path, is very important and it should be done uh, once your names are transferred here to Bishop Bryan. This usually happens in the second week of January your classroom teacher will tell you, okay, you guys all could start the first step, create your account because we have sent all your names to BR, okay? So using the second step, this is very important because you need to have this account set up for your next four years of high school. This account will give you access to your courses, your timetable, your marks, okay? Uh, compulsory elective courses, so it's very important and it, I strongly recommend make note of the password and email you are using because we do not have access to this. This is your personal information. Okay, now we will move along to creating or selecting your courses for grade nine. And once again, we're gonna use my path. So at this point here, you're gonna go path to success. And at this stage here, we're gonna now log in. Why do we log in? Because we have our accounts created. So now you're gonna use your email, your password, and hit enter. So now you come to the main page, okay? At this main page, you will see, click on school courses on the top, which is our dashboard. So here I want you to click on school courses. Once you click on school courses, it brings you up all our high schools. So. If you are not going to BR, the steps are all the same. You will see all our other Catholic schools. Everyone here will select on Bishop Bryan Catholic Secondary School. Once you click on Bishop Bryan Catholic Secondary School, you will see basically all our courses come up basically by department. So you will see a screen here and all your courses will come, come up on the left-hand side of the screen by all the departments in the school. For example, click on English. Once you click on English, it will bring you up basically uh, all the English classes you have offered in grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, and grade 12. We will just focus on the grade 9 column because this, these are the courses you need to take. So you will see in grade 9, uh, you have applied academic uh, English. Here, if your teacher has recommended you take academic English, here you will see basically the title is English, the grade level, the, uh, the grade nine level academic and a descriptor. This is very useful. Read the descriptor for every course, okay? It gives you an idea of what the content is about. And also very important, prerequisite. For grade nine classes, no prerequisites, but moving along in 10, 11, and 12, 
here under prerequisites, you will see some courses will need a prerequisite. So you must have that class before you register uh, and start this the next course. Now, because we are a little bit early, but by January 20th, your dashboard will have an icon called backpack. And right below this descriptor, there's going to be an arrow, usually a green box that says add to backpack. So if your teacher and your parents and you have identified that you will take English grade nine academic, here I want you to simply click add to backpack. Now you've selected this in your backpack. So now if you go back to the menu screen, you'll see a dashboard on the top, there'll be backpack. Click on your backpack and you should have one course entered in there, English 1D1. Go back to the course offerings page and now let's select uh, Canada World Studies. Click on that and you will see in grade nine, there's only one thing there, geography. Look at your recommendation, see what you identified with your parents, the level of geography. Here, if you're gonna take applied, click on the 1P1, read the descriptor, look at the course, add to backpack, select it, go to your backpack, and now you should see two classes, English and geography. Uh-oh, suddenly you made a mistake. That geography class you picked is applied, but you know what, you intended to take academic. So simply in your backpack, you click on the geography 1P7, and beside it, it's gonna say remove or delete, okay? Either or, it's the same process. You click on that, and now it's taking that out of your backpack. So you just go back now to Canada World Studies, find the geography, call up the academic course, add it to your backpack, and you go to your backpack, and you should see now the academic English and academic geography, okay? So you will do this for all of your courses, okay? You will have the six, compulsory classes that Ms. Mazza discussed with you and any two other elective courses you want. Very, very, very important. You can only have eight courses. Now, the program will allow you to take 10, 12, 13, 14, four or five classes in there, but there's gonna be an error and a problem with your timetable. It is your responsibility to ensure and make sure and review that you only have eight courses in your backpack. Once you have eight courses in your backpack, they're automatically saved. All I ask you to do is to print a copy of the courses in your backpack, okay? Uh, all instructions, again, can be found on page eight in the planning guide. I uh, wish you all the best, and we will eventually connect. Take care.